and today I'm talking about one of my more recent 2023 reads. It only happens in the movies. The cover is just so cute. Not all love stories are cinematic. Audrey is over romance. While dealing with her parents' contentious divorce, a breakup of her own, and shifting friendship dynamics, she has every reason to feel cynical. But then she meets Harry, her fellow co-worker at the local cinema. He's brash, impulsive, and a major flirt. And even though Audrey tries to resist, she finds herself falling for his charms. But in this funny, insightful, and ultimately empowering novel, love and life isn't what it's like in the movies, right? It is British, which is actually, I didn't know that at first, so it took me a minute to like realize and adjust to that. It keeps you engaged. I read this book pretty fast in like three days. I've been in a bit of a slump. I really enjoyed this book. I just read this book so I'm like really fired up about it. This definitely helped me get through the slump. In the book, Audrey, after everything that's happened between her parents and her own relationship, she doesn't believe in love anymore. She thinks that it's just this made up, um, this made up ideal. In movies, she thinks that the idea of love is dangerous because it gets you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do. I think it's a really interesting contrast between better than the movies and it only happens in the movies. Better than the movies is obviously like Liz has this idea of what love is based on the movies. Um, but then when she has a relationship, she finds out it's actually very different but better than the movies. This one is really interesting and similar but different in the fact that she thinks love only exists in the movies and that she'll never have anything like that based on her own experiences. So if you're in a more cynical mood, I would go with it only happens in the movies. If you're in a more romantic mood, better than the movies is definitely the way to go. Now it's interesting because Audrey gets a job at a local cinema. Just think because she's always confronted with the ideals and the movies that she's working so close to. Her coworker is Harry. He's kind of like a bad boy. He smokes, he does drugs. He doesn't care about anything. And she finds herself kind of having this crush on him. It's kind of like, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're friends, but they're like work friends. Because they kind of hang out outside of work. She's resisting falling for him because she knows that, or she thinks she knows that love only happens in the movies, that it's never all it's cracked up to be. So I think it's really interesting seeing her kind of deal with her parents' divorce her breakup and then be confronted with all these ideals of love in the movies that she's working near and also having this crush on Harry. So eventually her and Harry do get together um, and they're together for a while but she's also kind of like skeptical that he's actually like in it, that he's not just seeing her as another girl. It's kind of a toxic relationship, they kind of fight and make up all the time and I think that shows what she thinks that a relationship is, is about always fighting and then you deal with it and you fight and you deal with it. Um, she really doesn't want to get hurt, but she also doesn't want to completely close herself off to love. Through the relationship, she's also dealing with her mother. Her mother is dealing with the divorce as well, obviously. She's in this depression and so Audrey's having to help her through that. So there's one night Audrey was supposed to go to a party with Harry, but Audrey had to stay home to help her mother through this major episode. Her mother end up, ends up going to the hospital, so Audrey tries to call Harry. He never picks up the phone, he never texts her, he's never like worried. He's not worried about her at all. It seems like he doesn't really notice that she's not at the party and that she, um, he's not concerned about where she is. It comes out that at this party, Harry cheated on Audrey with his on again, off again girlfriend, and that kind of solidifies in Audrey's mind that love isn't lasting and it's not um, real, that it's something that only happens in movies. She breaks up with Harry, she ends up quitting her job, she has to go back in to get her check or turn her uniform or something. Harry tries to win her over, he shows her he's made this movie for her and plays it at the theater and it's just him trying to win her back. She's crying, she's She's so touched by what he's done. And through this whole thing, I was begging her, please don't take him back, please don't take him back. And I was so worried that she would for the like, sake of the story coming full circle and that she's 
she's made it she believes in love and she thinks it can overcome any obstacle thankfully she says no i i can't do this like you already broke my heart i'm not gonna give you the chance to do that again it, it is really good to see that she doesn't just throw all her experience away for the point of having this relationship not being in love so it's a really um heartbreaking but refreshing kind of ending a lot of times they put aside their differences and they fall in love and they live happily ever after but in this book it's uh, just she stood up for herself and she didn't take him back after she after he did something so horrible um he knew everything that she had dealt with in the past with her with her father with her ex-boyfriend he promised he would never hurt her and then he did he did this unimaginable horrible thing to her and she stood up for her herself she stood up for herself and she left him so that's it only happens in the movies it's honestly a really good book i hope that you read it it's a really refreshing empowering book yeah i definitely recommend reading it only happens in the movies i'll put a link for it in the description box so that it's easier to find that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this review um more of a rant it was a really good book so i really wanted to talk about it i hope you enjoyed my review of it only happens in the movies stay tuned for my 2023 reading recap where i talk about every book i've read the whole year <laughs> i've read like 30 books this year make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it and i will see you next time bye i feel like i'm just kind of rambling at this point let me start over dang it what's the word stay tuned for my 2023 recap <laughs> No. What is the word? <coughs> no, blah, blah, blah.